Okay, so today we'll be performing just a simple, what is called direction of flow test. We'll just be using what I like to call the hotline. Um, what we see here is test cock number one, two, three, and four. Uh, test cock number two is where you would start your test. Uh, so what we would do to normally start this test, we would turn the water on as it's already on now. We will hook our high hose, test cock number two. Once we've got that nice and tight, we'll open this test cock up, as you can see here, with a really small screwdriver. Now, I want, to, I want you to pay attention to this needle. Watch it go up. Make sure all my holes are all. As you can see, it's all the way up to number 15. Now, what we would do at this point is now we would turn the water off. As you can see, the second ball valve is already off. And then the reason why we did this is so we can open the second test cock. Now what this will do, it will alleviate the pressure and you'll see this needle to go, go all the way down and it will stop hopefully somewhere between three and one. Uh, we don't want it to fall below one because that would mean the pound of pressure has failed and that means one of the checks are open and there's a situation. So what we'll do here, we'll open it. There'll be some more to pop out. That's why we have these nice jackets. And as you can see, this is holding really, really well. It's right around 3738, 3.8. So that's a good test. Your first check has just tested well. So what we can do now, we take this off, close the first test cock, leave the second test cock open, and bleed off some of that air. Make sure that needle goes all the way back down below one to the bottom. And we'll reinsert our hotline back on test cock number two. As you can see, it's still open. So what we will do now, before we open test cock number four, so we won't get sprayed in the face, we'll turn this back on. Pressure goes back up to 15. We repeat the same process. Turn it off. Make sure we set it right level with the backflow. That's what a directional flow test is, making sure that the, the testing gauge is level with your actual device. Once again, you'll get some water. So we'll open this up. Almost identical to the first, right around 3738. And that is how you test the backflow. Now, before you're done, you always make sure that your test cocks are closed. Move your device. And of course, so we won't leave without giving the customer water anymore. Turn it back on. The customer now has water. So this is how you test a backflow device. This is what I do. And this is how backflow is uh, kept up uh, year to year. So once again, my name is Teddy Bryant, uh, backflow extraordinaire for the city of Conway Public Utilities. Have a nice day.